this is Alakai. Today I am coming to you from Pier Point Landing. Today we are we have the afternoon free, so we decided to go ahead and jump on a PM boat. So we're leaving at 12, uh, 12 o'clock or six something like that, six o'clock. Just a really quick outing, and I think today we're just going to be going for some random stuff like sculpin fish. But uh, for those of you who don't know how to do that, I'm going to be showing you guys all the ins and outs of what I use today. Hopefully we get on some fish, and I'll be capturing everything on here for you. Um, more details later. Bye. Monte Carlo out of 22nd Street, right there. Same sculpting grounds. <laughs> it's like coming up slow, man. I don't know whether it's like a. Fish. What the hell is it? <laughs> what the hell? That's my luck right there. Oh, that looks cool.
Oh, uh, you can flay them all. Yeah, I'm not interested in... Normally I would gut and gill, but not with these guys. Nah, just fillet the whole thing, yeah. My parents alone will suffer. Pretty much you only do five, right? and put it inside the water. It keeps it cold. Yeah, put it inside the water, the bag in the water, because it keeps it cold. It makes it better. Okay, so we're back from the trip. Hopefully you guys uh, were able to see me catching some of that sculpin. Just uh, some of the details. City of Long Beach out of Pierpoint Landing. Um, let's go over some of the costs. So the boat ride itself was $60. You register online at pierpoint.net, uh, I think it is. Um, but the boat doesn't actually cost you 60 bucks, the charter. You actually pay a couple percentage fees on that. So now it's 63 something, 63.50 or so. And then at Pierpoint, you have to pay $3 for parking in the first 29 slots in the uh, little parking lot the parking there is a little bit uh precarious in a way in that you have to kind of park your car hopefully you don't get a ticket in the time you go park your car you go inside to the um to the landing to register you get yourself uh either an overflow coin or you get yourself a uh, little pass to uh, park there then you go back to your car repark it if you need to and then you go back and you actually uh, jump on the boat and, and you park your car, grab all your stuff, and then go to the um, to the loading dock. A little bit of pain in the butt, and you know the cost is not that big of a deal, but it's that walking back and forth that could cause a little bit of uh, of confusion there. Uh, my my rig today was pretty much uh, we were going up to Sculpin today, so my rig was just pretty much the um, MXJ, uh, which is the narrow spool. Um, it was basically 50 pound test with uh, a 25 pound dropper loop. The bottom of the dropper loop I was using like a uh, eight ounce weight, but um, I was also using these little jig heads on the dropper on the top and the bottom. So really I had about 10 ounces of weight on there. Reason why I'm so sore today, bringing it up and down. And the reason why I'm using lead heads on these dropper loops, you can use things like bucktails and, and any, any kind of lead head really, is because the scope and fish are directly on the bottom. And so when you drop it, your big weight that's on the very bottom of your dropper loop down the bottom, you can actually put these down there too, wait a little bit, and then you should feel some bites as these scoping are picking it up. Um, thing is, I started getting real tired, so I just started letting it go down there. I'm trying to bring up two at a time. That's why you started seeing me catch uh, two at a time, because once I felt it on there, I pinned it, and then I just let it sit. Even though I was getting little taps, 
once the scope pin are, are hit and pinned, they just kind of sit there a little bit. So if you feel another tug, then you know you got a second one on there. You can try to grab them up. These are like old school lead heads. You can use any lead heads or about one ounce, but um, I don't think it matters. I think that once that big weight goes down there, you can use anything from like a, even a half ounce to three quarter ounce and might lighten the load just a little bit. So use one of these things, um, tie on the uh, dropper loops and then just put like squid hanging off of it. The key, the tip, is to leave your squid kind of hanging off the loop. Don't just bunch it up and ball it up over here. Leave it down here because you want that flow still of the little squid chips coming out the side. So a little tip for you there. Make sure that when you're tying your dropper loops, it's not getting tight around, around the dropper, uh, the line itself, and that um, you kind of untangle each time. Today I didn't have too many problems with tangles. It was a light load, about 14 people on the boat, and just had an awesome time. The staff there, the deckhands are so awesome on these boats. It's so interesting to see once you've been on some other boats that have really bad deckhands and people who just ignore you and just kind of do their own thing. And you jump on these like professional boats and it's just like, it's just mind blowing. It's awesome. So anyways, without any, uh, without anything else to talk about here, hopefully you learned something. You're interested in going on these half days. I highly recommend it. City of Long Beach, Pierpoint Landing. Uh, talk to you guys later. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.